Okay, so I like this shot of the hat covering my eyes. So I'm gonna do the whole video like this. Just wait. So I recently just came back and got a whole bunch of new beauty products from the beauty outlet stores. And I'm gonna use them all and share them with you and see if we create a superstar. Okay, that angle was too high and it felt like you were looking at me and I like that. But I like also sitting you down next to me so we can converse like this. I guess no one told you, so let me be the first to show how I... I've been a boy for a while, so I know how to be a girl by doing the opposite. So I have all my creams on to get me there, because I know that it'll get me there. Smashbox Priming Spray, which is so good because I've been using that MAC matte one for too long. I haven't had a new spraying product, beauty product, like since I got that one in two years. It's interesting going to a mall or going to an outlet and seeing where you'll let yourself be drawn to. Are you going to be drawn to the shoe stores? Are you going to be drawn to the fashion stores? Are you going to be drawn to the quick fashion stores like Forever 21, Hollister? Are you going to be drawn to the urban stores? Are you going to be drawn to the luxury stores? Are you going to be drawn to... And it also depends on where you come from, where you live. Since I live in California, let's say we we both live in California. Do you think it'll be it'll make more sense why we walk into Hollister to buy the Californian style? Or do you think Hollister is more popular in cities and states? outside of California buying the California style because I know Mexico likes the American and Californian brands I wonder if other countries and states do too like if you want to buy the California look you can go to store for it the commercialized California look Have you ever been up for like too long and your skin starts to look dry or you look up close and you don't look as smooth as you do when you first wake up or maybe I just look prettier when I have a cloudy set of eyes. Oh my legs are not shaved and you had dirt between your fingers they told us to be I guess it's a scientific project. If you give a kid 20 bucks and send them off to a mall and s see what they buy with it. Are they going to head to the food court? Are they going to go buy a shirt? 
Are they gonna go buy tour merch? Are they gonna go buy makeup? Are they just gonna sneak into their pocket and save up for something? Here's a tip for nose contour. Darken it, add a cream or liquid highlight, and set the nose bridge with a white powder. This is white translucent powder, but it has a white tint to it. It's not just translucent. So your cream will get stuck to more white product. So I just filmed a shorts in the aspect of this film. Cool. I was so saying that to remind myself that here is a shorts. I usually don't do powder on the face, but since I'm alive today, let's powder the face. I think this powder breaks me out, but I am interested in seeing the texture that it has. Let's feel it. It doesn't feel thick, so that's cool. Do you, as a boy or as a girl, as both, do you pick the outfit first? Does the outfit pick you? Or do you have to have your character face on? Have a character actor? You have to have your makeup done before you pick the outfit? Or do you do the outfit and then the makeup? I, it's either or, but I recently noticed that it's the prop, the outfit, the energy ready, the vocal rested voice, and then I apply the character actor mask, and then I let you talk to me, because we don't know, you don't know if it's actually me talking, or the world I signed up for the day. Yeah, I'm souping it off with this glow powder. Just because I can. And because a nice sheen on the face, it just looks beautiful. If you look at a doll or a Barbie, it's shiny. You can do that to your face. Okay, next product. This was the first product that I ran into for the day. And it was this Laura Mercier Eye, Cheek, and Lip Gloss. I got it because it was a cheek gloss. I thought that was so cool. And I wanted something from Laura Mercier because I know she's a makeup artist and one of the first makeup artist brands. 
I think she was one of the first makeup artists to launch a makeup brand. I think. And show you and show me this texture. That's beautiful. Okay, that looks kind of horrible, but we can make it work. I just like the idea of a face gloss. Again, to give us that Barbie sheen. Okay, so there really wasn't a lot of tint, but it's a gloss, so I like that. Now I need a cowboy, cowgirl lip color. I like a boring accent. You just say First question, how are you? Second question, how are you in this Gemini season? This is kind of like my first time being aware that the energy shifts. And being... Um, awake and not so dead in the eyes to understand what's happening and it would be happening even if you were sober or awake but it's my first time feeling the energy and seeing what to do with it so how have you been in this Gemini and Virgo season did you like Taurus season? I really like Taurus season. I have almost every planet in Taurus, so it just worked out to be really stubborn and focused. Okay, so I have my pink cowgirl lip on so that I can show you this product and myself. When I saw this at the store, I instantly got inspired by it because I love pink lips and the world loves pink lips. Like, pink lips are pink lips. And I saw this pink lip gloss by Buxom. And it had like a blue shimmer, but I just saw this color and it inspired me enough to showcase it on camera on my face to you. Mm. Smells like a vanilla. It's not like vanilla, it's... I would say vanilla macaron, but I've never smelled a vanilla macaron, so... It's like kind of like a burnt vanilla, marshmallow vanilla. Oh my 
or this applicator is just plastic. Okay. Okay, let's clean it off and look at it. What a weird applicator. It's cool, it applied like a gulp, a goop of product. That's cool. My makeup wipe right now is Lysol wipes and it disinfects your hands. So that's a 10 out of 10 stars. Okay, so I have another makeup product, but I'll save that for another video because it's an eye product and I already have black liner on because black liner just feels good smudge in the eye. It's good to catch yourself in the mirror and see black smudged. It just feels like Avril Lavigne is giving me a pat on the back. Okay, let's try this wet spray. Lavender and sweet orange. That's a beautiful product. That was my Californian cowboy, Californian cowgirl, Californian cowboy. That's probably the title. C and a C. That's really cool. Now you can catch me in the Kalos region. I recently just caught Xerneas, so catch me somewhere in a- Okay, have you played Pokemon X or Y? I got lost for like a whole month. Like, I didn't know where to go. Like, that's me in real life too, once I wake up in the morning. But if we're talking about our character in the video game, the map was so universal and so- I think it was like the first open map game, but I got lost in wherever I was and I didn't know where to go. I want to show you the outfit I'm wearing as my character. <laughs> Kalos region. Let me show you my Pokemon that are traveling with me. Like in real life, I have my pets, my pet friends who are the ones that are traveling with me this lifetime. But here are my pets. From all the Pokemon that you can catch, it's interesting which one you're going to put or let on your team. So I have a Charizard, a Roserade. Roserade is my favorite. She's like the strongest Pokemon I've noticed. She, I think I have a connection to Roserade ever since Sinnoh because 
I usually just like sweep every one I had with rose red because you could poison them and then you could magical leaf them and then magical leaf them and then they die. And I recently just got an aggron. The only reason I got an aggron is so I can have the mega evolution. And then have a good ninja because I've recently been watching Ash Good Ninja on YouTube and the evolution of that is just so cool. And I have a furret so I can give it all the HMs. <laughs> and it's also just really cute. And then obviously I think the number one like popular Pokemon is Lucario. I have to have Lucario. Let me show you Rose Raid because oh my god, she's my highest level. Look how look how look how she stands. Like you don't have you don't even have to like go up to talk to her because she's just gonna poison you. So I look like Rose Raid. I hope I look like Rose Raid with this color. Her specialty is poison point contact with other Pokemon may poison the attacker. Me and Rose Raid are the same. <laughs> if you attack me, I'm gonna poison you. Her characteristic is she likes to trash about, thrash about. Yeah, that sounds like me too. Her nature is mild. And we met April 29th of 2017. And I met her at level 8, so we've been together for a while. Okay. Bye from me and Rosemary. Or should I put something on a cheek? Okay. I'm gonna use this pink. use this pink because it's not as pink like look there's a hot there's a regular pink and then there's this pink on top this pink is more of a it's just really beautiful like how do you make that color is it a brown base it's like moussier the other one's like paint Okay, I was gonna put this on my face, but this is like plumpy, and I don't really want to plump up my cheek right now. Okay, now we look like we've been riding horses and smoking cigarettes. And being cowgirls and cowgirl and cowboys. Did you know that Tom Selleck is still alive? I like recently just found that out. Like I could run into Tom Selleck, that's freaking cool. Probably not in my hometown, but I could. Yeah. Doesn't that look awesome? Like, if you were to look at me from far away, it just looks cool.
got your boner And I woke up so hungover And I didn't even drink that much last night I... Peace out from my pink lips to yours If you have pink lipstick, put it on right now So this is my cowboy, cowgirl inspired look. You can catch me in the wild west of California. <laughs> it's not that wild here, it's just the small hometowns that are. People are more reckless with their driving than they are with their real lives in California.